Welcome seniors, class of 2021. It's an exciting year, a year a little bit different from all the rest to say the least. So we are excited to work with you throughout this journey. We did enjoy meeting you on Wednesday for the Google Meets. So that was a fun time getting to see all faces and hopefully you got to know your counselor a little bit better as well. We have Ms. Gregorio. For students whose letters, last name are A through D. Miss Murray is E through K. Mr. O'Connor, L through Q. And Miss Jones is S through Z. We are your academic counselors, but there are a few more people in the school that might be of assistance to you. That is Mr. Ellington. He is our Dean of Students. He doesn't have a specific caseload, but he does work with all students. Miss Crawford, same thing. She doesn't have a specific caseload, but she does work with all students. We're going to talk about her role here in a little bit. And we have a new counselor, Mrs. Hernandez. She is the ninth grade counselor. The first thing we want to mention to you is our website. We did touch on this a little bit on our meets on Wednesday. But in order for us to help you, we do put a lot of information on this website. We, one thing we get a lot of questions about are scholarships. Students email us a lot and we generally will refer them to this website. We list every scholarship that we are notified about and every scholarship that we know about including local scholarships, specific Holly Springs High School scholarships, national scholarships, county scholarships. So everything that we know of goes on our scholarship website. This is a great place to start looking for scholarships. And might I add that you need to start now because we're gonna start posting scholarships very soon and there are some scholarships that have very early deadlines. We also have um, SAT, ACT information, we have college information, we have um, brag sheet resume information, we have information on military, we have our information, and all kinds of stuff uh, can be found on this website that will be useful to you. And one of those things um, also is sending your transcripts, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit. So here are the things that you all need to be doing, and it's going to be a busy year for you. There is no doubt about that. So the first thing is those college tours. Just because we're in COVID doesn't mean you can't look at a college. Just like everything else, it probably will be virtual. Although we do not know every college tour schedule in the whole nation, so there might be some that are having in-person tours, you will have to do some research on the colleges that you're interested in and find out what kind of tours that they're providing. And these are very, very useful in helping you make your college decisions. The ACT and SAT, a lot of our colleges in the state of North Carolina are going to go test optional. Different colleges have different rules about that. So again, we can't make one blanket statement for every single college. This is something you're gonna to have to do research about too with the colleges that you're interested in. Every college is gonna be a little bit different when it comes to how they would like you to address this. So you wanna check with them. We will be offering some virtual senior support days. These are days in which we're gonna put on the calendar that you guys can access us and experts in the school about writing your college essays, financial aid, making your college applications, teacher recommendations, transcripts, and all that stuff that goes along with applying to college. We will also be hosting small group senior meetings in which you'll be back with your counselor to talk about specific college applications or maybe it's military or maybe it's two-year college. So whatever your future plans are, the senior meetings are going to address some specifics about moving forward with those plans. The class rank will be updated on September 21st this year. That's in a few weeks. Some of you ask, how is my rank gonna change because we aren't adding new grades? Well, we still are adding new grades because we have, have some new seniors who've joined us this year and we've 
we've had some seniors to transfer to other schools. So we've had some seniors to leave us. So we're going to have to add all those new seniors in with all their grades and take all the seniors out and then rerun the rent. So it won't change a whole lot, but it could change by a few. So as of September 21st, your rank and your transcript will be ready to send to college as a, an official senior transcript. If you order your transcript to be sent, it won't be sent until after September 21st. Transcripts brings me to the next important thing. How do you send transcripts? I'm gonna say right now, your counselor does not send your transcript. We are not permitted to send an official transcript to a college, nor are we permitted to send any test course to a college. Everything has to be done through a vetted, secured website. So for in-state colleges, that's two-year colleges, four-year colleges, public colleges, private colleges, every college in the state of North Carolina can receive a transcript through CFNC. That is a website that you can use create an account, go to the application hub, and you can send your transcript to any college in the state of North Carolina for free. Now, let's say you're having trouble. Guess what? On the website, we give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to go into CFNC and send that transcript. So you can access that, that very basic, this is how you do it. For out-of-state transcripts, and we understand that there are probably a lot of you applying for out-of-state colleges, we have a different website. It is wcpss.scribeorder.com, and that is also on your screen. So there are just two different ways for you to send your transcript. Now, with the scribe order, the first three are free. After that, there will be a fee associated with that. CFNC is all free. We also want to talk about letters of recommendation and brag sheets. These are things that you can be doing now while you're waiting for that rank to be updated. You can start working on your brag sheet and asking your teacher for letters of recommendation. If you are going to ask your teacher for a letter of recommendation, it is a good idea to include your brag sheet in that letter of recommendation. Because if you don't, it's more than likely the teacher is going to ask for it. And same with your counselor. So don't forget to copy your counselor on a copy of your brag sheet so we can have that too, because we're going to need that when we fill out our school report forms on your college application. The one thing we want to stress to every student in this building and including and especially seniors is Taking care of yourself during the pandemic and remote learning, these are new times for all of us. We all are adjusting. And believe me when I say teachers and school people, like counselors and support people, uh, we miss you guys a lot. And it's not normal for us either to not have students around. And that's what gives us the energy that we really love is seeing our students and being able to work with them. So we are in a little bit of a different time. So it's important to take care of yourself. Some of these ideas that we have are, make sure you have a comfortable space. Make sure you have a place in your home that is good for your learning. Sometimes in front of the TV is not the best place because you could be distracted from the TV. And I'm included in that as well. I do get distracted by the TV. Because you know, when Dr. Phil's on, I like to look at some Dr. Phil. But when I'm trying to work, I gotta work. So, you know, being um, in a space where you're not distracted is important. And you have to be comfortable too. So make sure that that's happening. Maintaining a daily schedule is very important. As you know, it was very hard to do that when the remote learning started, it was kind of all of a sudden. But maintaining that daily schedule is important. And, and check your schedule with your school, with your teachers, and that should be a little bit different this fall when you're checking in with your teachers, you're attending those Google Meets and really keeping that schedule. Especially if you work outside of school or you have some responsibilities at home, maintaining that schedule is very, very important. Don't forget to include physical activity. You might be an athlete. You might be including that in already. But if you don't, maybe just to walk around the block or 
um, a tennis match with a sibling or something fun that you enjoy doing. Make sure you are maintaining contact with your peers. Everybody's different. We all have different healthcare needs, so you have to be careful and make sure you always check with your parents. But contact with your peers is important. Whether you schedule, you know, um, a Google Meet or a FaceTime with a friend, just to check in and see how they're doing and have a good conversation. But maintaining contact with your peers is very important. Also, sometimes we all have anxious thoughts. It's important to reframe and talk to yourself in positive ways. Try to take some deep breaths, get yourself a snack, have a glass of water. These are things that you can do to help yourself when you're starting to get anxious about things. Because like I said, it's different. So we're all getting anxious about what to expect with all this remote learning. So be sure to take care of yourself, talk to your parents, talk to your friends, and let them know how you're feeling and make sure that you are taking care of yourself. This is very, very important. Now, remember when I talked about Miss Birch back in the earlier slides? She actually, I said Miss Birch, but she's actually Miss Crawford because she has been married and I always keep calling her Miss Birch, but it's Miss Crawford. And she is a counselor here that can also help with some things. She supports and individual small group counseling, some classroom guidance as well. She also addresses the social and emotional well being of students. She works with parents of students who are parents and pregnant students. She works to address student attendance concerns. She is a school contact for those who, ha who have housing transitions right now and are struggling a little bit. And she serves to contact link students to community resources, like food and basic needs, school supplies, and she does have a Holly Springs High School caring closet. So if you have any of those needs, feel free to reach out to Ms. Crawford personally um, through email. The, the main counselors who are academic counselors who also can help with a little bit of everything are listed here. We have given you our uh, contact information in our Wednesday meeting, so you should have it. But if in case you weren't able to attend that Wednesday meeting, here is our information for you as well, so that you can make sure you contact your counselor should you need anything. Well, we hope this helped and we will see you very soon in our small group senior meetings. We miss you and we support you and please feel free to reach out with anything that you need and we hope you have a super duper day. Bye now.